get to the grand final set. SoCal Chronicles happening on January 4th, 2020. Yep, that's pretty soon, actually. Yeah, yeah it's yeah. coming up. Oh, Melee and Rivals today, that's cool. Yeah, three different games for your gaming pleasure. I believe signups are still open, so please get on that before they close. They are closing very shortly. You can access the Smash.gg page at the link provided on screen. It is at the NSM venue, so those of you familiar with that should be fairly close and in the area. Come down. Yeah, it's, it's, uh, everyone's been begging for a SoCal Regional to go to, so don't miss this one. For sure. Final awesome. Saga. Final Saga. The next installment of the Saga series coming up March 28th and 29th, partnering with Square Enix to bring you guys the city event and also a uh, you know, Final Fantasy theme event. So we're gonna get all the cloud players out. We'll try to get all of them out. And we'll also have uh, Tech Game 7 there, I guess to represent Noctis. But uh, yeah, that should be fun. Saga tournaments are always really good. We're gonna try our best to make this one as hype as possible with uh, you know the usual quality that we tend to you know, bring to this time. So support this event. I think we still have early bird registration going on. Don't quote me on that. But uh, yeah, if you're interested in coming, definitely register now while it's still cheap. And uh, yeah, we'd love to see you out here. It's always, it's always a good time. So, you know, yeah. oh. All right, empty chairs. But yeah, this is supposed to be grand finals. Elegant coming in from loser side. Charlie from winners. These guys have not played today yet, but uh, they play it so many sets already in Ultimate Smash 4. They both know exactly how to, you know, punish each other. Mm -hmm. This should be a pretty hype set, I, I would say. I think Elegant won their recent set at like Raceway, I don't know, Raceway, some Raceway tournament. Oh, IE. that's right, yeah, that one. Uh, that one came down to the wire when Elegant fell out of fair one at about 150 at the ledge and managed to survive a ledge trap. Got the reversal seconds later, but yeah. That one was down to the wire. I believe the last two, the last time these two met before that was at Genesis Black, but I'm not familiar with who the victor was there. Um, I forgot. I think it was Elegant. Yeah, it was Elegant. I think so. I felt... Luigi. Elegant though, approaching this one from loser's side. Falling yeah. some nitro earlier in the bracket. Needs yeah. this one and one more. Six wins. Six wins versus Charlie. But uh, I don't know. I think Charlie knows the Luigi matchup really well. He knows Elegant really well. As a player too. But that's that's good for him that he can actually use that cyclone to get out of uh, low percent extremes. Cool. I think that's gonna force Charlie to kind of change up the way that he wants to start his combo. Out there, out there, extending off of that center platform. It's not filling. F tilt to get another bit of percent going. Oh, I would have loved to see Charlie after that down there from Elliot just up smash him immediately. But you catch the jump. You should you should go out there to be safe. Yeah. Okay. Cut the jump. Smart, smart stuff from Charlie. Only taking twenty percent. Again, showing that he knows how to fight Luigi. And one of the ways that you learn how to fight Luigi is by exploiting his recovery. Yeah, in the absence of a misfire there, he's not going to make it back. Not gonna, even going to get close, and Charlie already taking an early lead. Not too bad for Elegant, though. You just need one setup to bring this back. Of course, Charlie knows that as well, so he's not making it easy for him at all. Oh, I thought that was going to be up. Yeah, sure. A little bit too slow, though. Got the back air. He's not going to go for it, oh. but he does get hit by the plunger. Oh, wow. Interesting. I didn't think Charlie would mess up his angle like that, but uh, good edge guard there from Elegant, setting that up from the down tilt on the missed wolf flash. A bit of a forced error there from Charlie. All that leg pressure and just threw out a bit of a panic. Firewolf in the wrong direction. Alright, catching these jumps. Another free hit here. Charlie's recovery is getting exploited really heavily, and Elegant turns it into a stock. Down throw, up B. You always gotta be wary of that move. Elgin has so many ways to cover with FB, it's kind of ridiculous. Yeah, he's already getting another combo oh. started. Wow. What? Okay, we'll take it. I'm not sure what Charlie was thinking of getting like, that low. I guess, he just want, I guess he just tried to avoid whatever Elgin was going for with that Cyclone. Yeah, that was so weird. That was sort of just occupying the space off stage. Charlie wasn't sure whether to go either inside of it or outside of it. And chose neither. He just pineappled himself for pretty much out of sheer panic, sheer fear. Yeah. 
which is weird because I, I know Charlie's really confident versus Elliot. I don't think he's scared of him at all. But who knows? Okay, we're getting the Kalos pick. I don't think I've seen Charlie counter for this stage once in a tournament so far. But, uh, I don't know, let's see how it works out for him. One thing that should be working in his favor, of course, is the high ceilings here. Charlie might have to sacrifice some of the up smash kills, but in avoidance for some of those down throw up the strings that Elegant can get, might be worth it. I got to talk about that SCI from Charlie. Like, that was so impeccable. He didn't mean to get close to getting killed with that. Is that an guard? Were you hit? Oh, he didn't want to go for it because he was so low. Actually, Amazing. making it back because of the misfire as he sticks himself into the stage, Charlie did so well to kill him with an air, but... He's gonna make it back. Yeah, he was dead otherwise. If he was that mismatch in the But Charlie has the opportunity here. Again, he doesn't want to challenge the recovery while he's going low. Oh. Yeah, that was good. Elliot getting a little bit cheeky with the leg uh, play there. Trying to get some wake up jabs, but Charlie's seeing through that. Back at the jab jab. Although jumps right into that dash attack. Okay. Nice. Just saying, get off the ledge, man. You gotta give me some space. So the wolf flash on the shield. Ooh. Big fair string all the way to the corner here. Doesn't even care about the cyclone at all. Free hit. Oh. It probably blocked that. It was a free down smash. Or a tilt. But gets greedy with the dash attack. It's the easy back throw there from the other. Oh! He was waiting for the roll, but he didn't up smash. Like, it's always crazy when I see people run up to you and then just turn their back to you. They're just banging something out. Get the tech roll in. Doesn't do so, but Charlie inches away from that fair bear. It always weirds me out that Luigi's dash attack is actually good. And it's down to it. Yeah, it's a welcome change. It's two moves that have historically been lesser utilized parts of Luigi's kit, but now that they're legitimate threats, you have to be even more scared of potential options, but these traps and these up smashes to catch Luigi falling are going to be always effective for Charlie. Exactly. Oh, try to go for the crazy super punch. Super shot, uh, jump punch in the way. Elgin wants to, I think Elgin wants to stack, but he also wants to get a stack in a way that will like, kind of demoralize Charlie. You know? Fair into the up air. Dang, he is not letting him land. Oh, what a mix up. Dang, dude. He just juggled him all the way with to the front of the stage. He's like, all right, you're not ready for this back air, though. I think his timing was literally like, I'm waiting for up air here. So I can just like maneuver around it. But Charlie's like, nah, hold the boots instead. Yeah, that was so well done from Charlie. I think after the fourth up air, Elegant was expecting a fifth to come out. Yeah. That was Charlie's opportunity to jump back in the fourth for the back air. All right. Three stock on game two. Charlie, I think Charlie is one of the best people at fighting Luigi in this game, for sure. I mean, you have to be in this region. You know that Elegant is going to make it deep in any bracket he attends, and the amount of places, the amount of locals he goes to, that's going to be fairly often. Okay, but here though, Charlie doing a good job just keeping up the pressure. Making it really hard for Elegant to come back, but as I say that, he's getting these big hits, he's getting damage, but not necessarily relying on grab, which is always interesting for me to see as like uh, watching the Luigi play like Elegant. Yeah, without some of these platforms present, Elegant is already playing this one a lot more in shield. He knows that his Nair out of six, uh, Nair out of shield at frame six is already three frames faster than anything Wolf has out of shield. How's he gonna come back? Nice, he's stalling his recovery, but there's another misfire, and he saved his double jump. Charlie's gonna cover there, but Charlie reading the roll again, just setting up the ledge play situation for the second time now. Going for enough smash? Oh, free punish? No, okay, 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 he didn't have enough lag. I thought he didn't have enough lag, and he would get away with that. Okay. Nice patient there for Charlie, seeing through all these shenanigans from Luigi. Oh! Oh my god, that was so close. I saw what he was going for with that fastball fair down there. That would have been such a huge thing for Charlie. Smelled blood in the water with that fair dare, but that would have smartly going Ooh. down there to counteract it. What a parry. That looks so cool. But like, even the parry had like uh, lag because of so much shit. That intermediate hit of dash attack actually pushing Charlie too far back to recover with Firewolf. 
Oh, using the intangibility on that Cyclone startup. Oh, no. Oh, my goodness. Elegant. Big, big edge guard there. Didn't even need the dare sweet spot. Crucial. He got rid of that stock sub 40%. That's a complete momentum shifter. Right, Charlie. In a position where you can get a revenge stock here without taking any percent. It's going to work out for him. Oh, he blocked. He dodged everything. Oh, my goodness. Oh, you're just carrying him across the stage. Charlie's air dodge is getting blown up. Business box is really, really getting exposed right now. Hell, you just capitalizing heavily. But no, I'm not going to retreat to the legend of So Charlie's not giving him anything for free, but still, it's looking like it's all Elgin right now. That's with the blaster. Rapid jab on the shield, putting him up to 80%. Up air is not okay. Chasing him all the way to the top of the blast zone. But still, he's uh, finding himself at kill percent. Charlie's gonna have to hold on to this stock for dear life. Dropping shield out on that cyclone, now what you wanna do? Ooh. There and oh, there, but. Man, yeah, he wants to get some momentum started with his combo, but. Not true. That cyclone's coming out. That cyclone for Elegant hasn't just been a kill move, it's also been a combo breaker at crucial times. Nice patience there for Charlie sticking in the episode. But he needs a ledge play here. Again. Oh, oh my god, he got to the ledge, but wow, up smash, he's living though, good DI. Excellent DI, right. even if that up smash sends in the reverse direction, Charlie finding one of his own, but up. not enough rage. Charlie's trying to pick his spot appropriately, but the Dolo Cyclone, oh my god, he's still living. Oh wow, oh great down throw. Wait a minute, though. I was going to get the ledge, oh he slid off, that was so safe, that was so smart failure, oh, covering the roll, the reaction of Charlie's. Can he get this stock though? Oh, the drop zone there is so smart, dude. Saw Elliot was vulnerable with his side B. He took his opportunity. Man, Charlie's DI is saving that game so hard. Yeah, as soon as he burned that air dodge, Charlie knew that was his cue to go. Just fell off stereo with that really active Nair of his, and he's one game away from taking this entire tournament now. Yeah. Elliot wants the reset super bad here. You saw how his uh, body language was once that uh, he dropped that game. He doesn't want to go out just yet, making this loser's run happen. After getting his run back, eliminating uh, Nitro. Let's see what he can do, though. Oh. Shield goes with the back air, yeah, and he might yeah, be too yeah. low. Easy, easy, easy stock for Elliot. And that's, that's exactly what Elliot wants. To start off the match with the tunnel midterm and really just assert his dominance. When you get a stock like that within 10 seconds or so, that that just resonates to every part of your play. A lot of his neutral play is looking a lot more confident now as he's converting on a lot of these 50-50s. Ooh, get off of me. Elegant. Pulling up the drop shield animation and turning it into a stock. Ooh. No way. Yeah, it's already behind these throws really well, so he's not just going to, like, get a zero to death by Elegant. But still, he seems to be Charlie making use of that Harry footstool firewolf a moment ago. That fair flash did not get the DI correctly. Yeah, so he went for that for a second time. He's having been able to make it work. Wow, that was uh, this disrespectful stuff to him, man. He's running right in his face, waiting for a spot dodge to roll. Firewolf to get around the plunger. A little bit too deep there for Charlie. But Elliot's gonna take this lead. Try to run away with it as much as he can. Setting the shield. Well, even the other smash anti gets called out. Elegant's not giving him anything right now. And that's a three stop. All from that super early kill. Elegant got all the momentum and just didn't let it go. It's really rough. Really have to make a comeback against that. Our match was only a minute and 30 seconds. Yeah, that was fast. Blinking, you might have missed two entire stocks there. Charlie did well to pull it back slightly in the final stock, but he just left himself so much work to do after that quick couple of SDs and that back air underneath the stage. Just that was killer. Okay, will we get the reset or will Charlie go home the winner of Wednesday Night Fights over Elegant? Now, it'll be good for Charlie to win this because I know he lost like the last two sets, I believe, to Elegant. And, uh, he knows the Luigi matchup. He knows how Elegant plays. It just comes down to who can touch it out harder. Baron Denaire and extends it with the up tilt. 
Oh, dropped an opportunity on the plank from that Cyclone. And I'm gonna see if that costs him, because Elegant is applying all the pressure here. Oh, free punish? No, too slow. Oh man, Elegant is actually vision for this LP. I don't blame him though. I think it will kill that 78. Even on Town and City, it's it right from the bottom of the stage. If he's able to get it out of a down throw, it certainly will. Alright, trying to play very carefully here. He knows Elegant's punch game is really scary, so he's not doing anything super risky. Extended the back air off of the plunger, by the way. That took a lot longer to come out than I think Elegant was expecting, and he got caught by it, expecting to beat it to the punch. Oh, the scoop of the up smash. That was a really good uh, choice of moves from Charlie. Because uh, the way that he was drifting from the cyclone, he was probably going to fall off the platform to be safe. But uh, the up smash was scooping before he could even do that. That go outward, and that up smash just a tiny bit late. Charlie C for these Cyclones, man. Good string to get him to the corner of the stage. Now kind of struggling now. For the back. Oh, so risky. He doesn't want to give Elliot a free back or anything like that. But nice. Keeping his composure here. Oh, there's the FAS, man. Finally getting this type of 91. Really good for Charlie. And he has all his invincibility to work with. Kind of force Elliot to go in a fast spot on stage. Elegance right now, he just pushing for the grab. Ooh, almost gets the narrative dash that just connects the kill. Fell out of fair, by the way, but still living at 123. And then with this inverted pyramid oh. triplat layout, that's going to be perfect for Elegant to get some mid percent combos going, although it's going away right now. Oh, big back there. He had a lag from using the fireball. Charlie Sear through that, finding his opening. Oh, the shield break up B. What can he do to kill here? Not enough. Even pushed through the corner of the stage, he didn't get an earlier kill that way. So yeah, that's fired for Charlie. He's gonna take some percent, but not even get close to dying just yet. So yeah, there's in a row, putting him at 51. Shields out the fair. This is Elegant's potential last stock of the tournament, so he wants to bring us to a reset. He has to make some clutch plays happen right now. But Charlie's not like letting it happen. He's just playing so safe and smart. Right now. Even, the, even the trades are in his favor. Another free hit as well. Elegant. Kind of struggling here. Oh, wow, what a tech as well. Finally, that Cyclone's gonna kill. I feel like he's gotten hit by that all all the time. I've not gotten the stock on him. Yeah, unfortunately for Charlie, teching that green missile didn't really put him in any better of a position. And Elegant gonna find the stock moments after, but that oh, F tilt. The he F tilt to close it out. He had no more invincibility from being at such a high percentage. Charlie, just seeing how easy that is to hit, will get that final stock. He's gonna win. His rich side fights over Elegant without yeah, without falling into losers a single time, playing well pretty much all day. Yeah, that's the same interaction that Charlie lost the last time these two uh, met at Raceway. Yeah, that yeah, he, he F-tilted Elegant at the ledge, and Elegant teched the F-tilt, and then he just ended up getting on stage and uh, killing him at like the last second right. to close out the tournament. But, but at uh, 120, you're not going to have enough iframes to even get close to that, and I know Charlie wants to get to the point where he wants both F-tilt 1 and F-tilt 2 to connect, even though the spacing isn't perhaps max, it is a lot safer. I wish, I wish the commentators had a light. It's okay though. It's all right. It's the only time I've been on like the camera this entire time. But, Same uh, here. Hey everyone.